we have hit our first snag in the road. We did not enjoy 1977. Here at El Loco Fresh for lunch. Check it out, see how it is. All right, so the bar, it's all ready to go, pre-made pre kind of stuff. So check, got your quesadillas, your burritos, nacho bowls, taco bar, assorted fruits and desserts, all ready to go and, and picked up here at the end. And then you have your salsa and your toppings bar with everything you could possibly want. All right. And for the Ford man, all the hot sauce a growing boy needs. What did you get, Chess? Beef, chimichanga, and some nachos. And I got a nacho bowl with a chicken burrito cheese quesadilla, some rice and beans, and also some uh, pulled pork. Yeah, I guess mine's a burrito. Not it's a burrito. burrito. It's good. So I wanted to uh, sample the uh, carnitas pulled pork. Pulled pork. That's good. That hits. Oh yeah. A little bit of rice and beans mixed. Good too. It's chili. Yeah, the chili con carne. Okay, so So a little pro, little, little pro tip, it gets busy up here and if you don't get an opportunity to eat El Loco Fresh during like sea days or whatever, uh, Port of Call Day is a good time to come up here and grab lunch. They only have lunch and breakfast, but we walked right up and got our food, but it's been lined up all the way to the pool every day. So, Just finished up our meal here at El Loco Fresh. How do you feel about it? Probably the my least favorite meal that we've had yeah. since we've been here. But it was still good. Yeah, I mean the burritos were uh, I wasn't too impressed with the burritos, but the, bur the burritos were already they're pre made, so they sit there. Yeah. But uh, I thought the nachos were pretty good. Nachos were really good. Check out some water slide action. Heading up to the perfect storm. Are you nervous? I'm a little nervous. <laughs> All right. The chass is going to go down this the funnel slide. She's going to come back and get the camera and uh, shoot me going down these two slides over here. Okay, sit down. We're we'll gonna go push. Getting ready to go down the green slide on the tropical storm. I've watched some guys go down this thing and the most laps I've seen so far has been three. I'm gonna try to complete at least four laps around this tunnel, or around this funnel. Let's we'll see if I can do it. Yeah.
headed to go get some drinks before dinner. We've had a great day here in Roatan and uh, we're on our way to Schooners, which is gonna be right around this corner here. Drinks have showed up. I got the uh, rum old fashioned. Lavender daiquiris. Grapefruit habanero daiquiri. <laughs> They're vlogging over each other. Who is going to taste this first? Cheers before you know. It's so delicious. It is. It's so good. It's delicious. I just told you. Uh, a hint of lavender. A hint of lavender. Lavender. I'm trying to read it, but I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it tastes good, though. All right, Josh, you want to go next? Yeah. Rum old fashioned. Smells like an old fashioned. I, I have a sneaking suspicion it's going to be sweeter than I want it to be, but it's okay. All right. This is so full. So is it uh, just bitters, <laughs> rum? Yeah, it's so it's. Oh, because of the coconut syrup. And, uh, yeah, I mean it, it's a little sweet compared to the way I like an old fashioned. I would Good. prefer to have my. Uh, cherry muddle at the bottom, but I, I like it. It's good. All right. He's gonna drink there. it still. Yeah. No, it's, okay. it's good. I'll have it again. It's wow. good. It's the final verdict. All right. So I'm curious if this is gonna be really spicy habanero. Do this. It doesn't smell that spicy. Not like a J Bo on drink. <laughs> It could be spicy. Actually, it's not spicy at all. Actually, never mind. <laughs> at the end. end. Yeah. The initial sip, you get like some lime fruitiness, and then on the back end, you get the heat of the habanero. I'll take a hit of the old fashioned. Old fashioned. It's uh, coconut instead of simple syrup. Yeah. I agree with you, Josh. Yeah. It's the good. best one at the table is ours. Yeah. <laughs> it's good, but uh, it doesn't really taste old fashioned. Like it almost tastes like uh, just Malibu Rose. I'm gonna make the lavender daiquiri on my. Alright, here we go. Here's what I do on some uh, drinks here at the bar. That's a lot better than a regular old fashioned yeah. for you. Let me try this lavender action over here. It's delicious. Yeah, I've, I've got to hold my pinky up when I drink this because it has lavender in it. Yeah, it's a little bit pink. Oh, yeah. You want to try the habanero? Sure. Yeah, that, that kind of rivals the uh, the cucumber part. Sunrise? Cucumber sunrise. That's, yeah. that's good. Okay, I can, I can concur with that. I like that. Yeah. I kind of like that it's, you expect like, oh, here it comes, and it doesn't, that's kind of weird. Yeah. When it hits the back, you're sort of like, Yeah, you can feel the habanero, it's yeah. like the, the aftertaste. So Mike got a, he, he asked for those guys to surprise him and, and impress him, so they brought him this lychee drink. Yeah. Lychee rum and... Lychee rum, grapefruit, and it's delicious. Yeah, it looks good. I don't taste the, uh, I call it lychee, but I call it rum. That's really good. Really refreshing. You want to sip? Sure. I'll trust it. It's at the end. That is that is really good. Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> I don't care about the drink package. Yeah, that's I know this shit. Oh, yeah. You get the lychee. Yeah. When you know it's lychee. Yeah. yeah, when you know it. And I tried the uh, John Collins. Oh, John. Because That's it's, uh, it's made with vodka. So. Tito's. 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 Mm. My favorite Tito. of all vodkas. Alright. Oh, you had that. You had that. Yeah, that's refreshing. So, so far, Schooners has been absolutely amazing. It's going to walk around and take a look at some of the. Uh, 
the decorating and the, the ambiance and um, the uh, the flu, if you will, of the bar. So check out the main bar area here. But you've got a you've got a good view too, so you're looking all the way down onto the promenade. Back around. So you know you've got you've got your winches on the wall there. It's very cool. There's a good mixture of, of modern and uh, you know old school feel here. Different model ships throughout. And these are essentially uh, sections of a schooner all the way through. So really, really cool, really cool feeling here. In the evenings, they'll bring <coughs> the piano player over. The porn star at Schooners. Too hot for YouTube! Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> Is it Malibu? Malibu? Yeah, is it pineapple vodka? Pineapple, it tastes pineapple. Vanilla vodka, pineapple, and raw pickle syrup. Really? There's no, there's no Malibu? There, does it have Malibu? No. No Malibu? No. Well, you hit vanilla vodka. Vanilla vodka. Vanilla vodka. Vanilla. And the pineapple. Wow. That's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Well, I can't wear y'all for it. Wow. Well, if you Made or Mad? Made, good job, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this wasn't even on the radar for me. Scooters. Oh, I seen him. I love that there was that boat, like this boat seat right out there. Oh, yeah. No, I was thinking that this is going to be the place for like one it, it is a. It is a perfect drink for me, for me because it's super sweet. How is it? You can definitely taste the passion fruit. I can't taste the vanilla, but that's probably what's making it kind of creamy. But it tastes, does it taste like Malibu? Only because of pineapple. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what I thought. fruit is probably my favorite part of that whole thing. Okay, that might be a cocktail corner as well. Yeah. Mike, you want to try it? Sure. The porn star, baby. Oh, yeah. The porn star. It's got a good name. Porn stars here. <laughs> Yeah. My day is the best. He has made our day. Thank you, John. And the drinks continue. <laughs> he's, he's trying to get us completely messed up. Is it vodka? Oh, yeah? Vodka's all around. This guy's in Niagara bottles. Non alcoholic vodka. All the way. Oh, yeah. Virgin the strongest drink on the ship. You ever Virgin see that? vodka. Yeah. You ever say that? The strongest drink on the ship? Yeah. Well, you know why? It's a strong drink on the ship, right? Yeah. Why? Because it holds the ship up. That's right. Oh. oh. But um, bum, bum. <laughs> We've got our modified cinnamon toast crunches here. Cinnamon toast crunch. All right, beaches. Cheers. Oh, that's good. One that's Christmas. That's a that's a Christmas shot. That's a Christmas shot. Yeah, it's almost a little peppermint to it. Oh yeah. The fireball. Very good.
This will, I, know. I still don't believe Josh. I liked it. I did like it. I did like <laughs> it. Nothing's wrong. All they are smooth. That was good. One, like, I mean, but you know, the flavor is there. Yeah. And they're smooth inside, yeah. But you have, but you have two choices when you're doing shots. Like what? You either you either like them or you're you're drinking them. It's like the Irish car bomb thing. It yeah. tastes like crap, but you're gonna do it so just because, right? I like Irish, Irish car bomb. I was gonna say yeah. I'm fine with Irish car bomb. But you gotta be politically correct. You gotta call them the. Uh, We're on our way to. The Royal Theater, Royal, Royal Theater, Royal Three Raider, Royal Theater. Theater. No, actually, we're not going to the Royal Theater. We're going to a Studio. What is this? We'll find out right here. Yeah, we're getting there. We are going. We're getting there, bro. It's right here. Studio B. Studio B. So Studio B. This is where 1977, the ice skating show, is going to happen. So uh, I'm going to check this thing out, see what it's all about. This isn't a show. This is real. All right, guys, we have hit our first snag in the road. We did not enjoy 1977. Well, I mean, everybody else did. We just didn't. Well, I don't know. I mean, so you tease me and tell me that it's 1977, and it's set in England, and I'm expecting the greatest band of all time, Led freaking Zeppelin, and I get none of that. I get the who, and I get a bunch of gobbledygook that makes no freaking sense. People dance around. But the skating was good. Yeah, skating was good. Yeah. So now we're off to the main dining room. We're going to meet up with Mike and Betsy, and we're going to see what other kind of shenanigans we can get in because 
we think it's a good idea to try and drink and hang with Mike and Betsy. So here we go. Yeah, we're going to do a bar crawl with them tonight. <laughs> All right. Follow us. Here we go.